Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the sixth video of my sequence Hugging Face, Exploding Hugging Face. So, this is the sixth video. I have created another uh, five videos of this sequence or this playlist. I'm going to add this sixth video inside the same playlist. So, in my previous video, I have shown you like how I have created a, a chatbot using Streamlit application and how I integrated the Hugging Face LLM model with that. And if we are going to ask any question, the chatbot able to answer that question. So, in my previous video, I think uh, video number five, I was started like um, by implementing a file uploader uh, chatbot. So now that particular chatbot is going to convert the image file, whatever we are uploading to a text. Okay, so how it looks like, uh, let me go through the hugging face. So I have already logged into my hugging face account. If you are not able to log in, please log in. Okay, so if you log into Hugging Face account, this is the home page. And if we click on the models, so there are so many models available, and we are going to select the computer vision model, which is uh, we're going to image to text this one. So we are going to upload the image, and based on the image, it will give a caption of the image or it will give the uh, description of the image, that particular LLM file. Okay. So I'm going to image to text this one and I'm going to sort this through most downloads. Okay, so the first one is uh, Microsoft handwritten. Uh, some model is there which is converting nothing but handwritten text to a uh, description of the image which is not needed because that is kind of optical character recognition. But we are going to do the Salesforce uh, this one. Okay, so this is also a popular model and most downloads. If I click this, you can see the description of the model is given in the left side and in the light, light, uh, right side, there are a download last month, this data and also an interface API they have provided. So we'll try this. Let's see how much fast is this and then we'll select this model. So I'm going to upload a sample image like this cat's image I'm selecting and you can see it is pretty much faster as well. So it is giving the caption like there is a small orange kitten sitting on the top of a laptop, which is fine, which is absolutely correct. We can test another image like this Azure logo I'm going to upload and you can see like it is running and it will give the output like the logo of the app store a blue uh, and a uh, white letter A which is fine. This the it won't understand the logo but it is giving the description of the image. So we are going to integrate this model to our existing Streamlit application whatever we have built in video number five. So if you guys not seen the video number five I'm requesting you to go through that video and then you can go through video number six this video. Okay so I'm going to open the Visual Studio code first. So I'm opening the Visual, <laughs> Visual Studio code. Okay so uh, some image upload dot i that that file I have created in video number six. Yeah, this file image upload dot py is the I have created in video number six. This is nothing but a streamlit file which I have created. It has the functionality to upload the image, and we are storing the image to our local folder. Okay, so this is the local folder. I'm going to delete this folder because I'm going to create this again, and now I have to activate the virtual environment. Okay, so I have to open Miniconda because I told you like in Miniconda only we are managing the Python versions and all. Conda activate VNV ST app. This one. So it's activated. I have to navigate to that particular folder and this is my directory and I have to execute streamlit run image upload.py file yeah so this file i'm going to run and you guys can see okay so this is the interface okay upload image and get a description of it this is the description of the uh, chatbot whatever uh, we are going to build okay so i have to upload the image file so suppose i'm going to upload this okay we are going to see this image as well so you can see this is the image and image successfully uploaded to a path is given okay so this path is your local folder path you can see like one folder is created uploaded image and inside that i have uploaded the hugging face this logo <clears throat> okay so now our work is to integrate this uh, streamlit application to hugging face image description model okay so for that i'm going to hugging face first let me go to hugging face first okay so i have to click on the deploy and then interface api I have to simply copy this whole code. I'm copying this, then come back to the editor 
and I have to give this inside this. I'm giving this inside the same loop because so if uploaded file is not none, then only we will execute this. If uploaded file is not none, then only we will execute this. Otherwise, our application won't run. So I am keeping the whole code inside this if loop. Okay, and this import request. So importing the request module that I can give at the beginning of the code. Okay, so I have given already import OS dot request. So here I'm going to paste this. Okay, I'm keeping the import statement in the single line. Okay, so in line number 28, you can see the API URL which is correct. I have to change this bearer token. Okay, let me copy the token from hugging face. So I have to go to manage tokens and there I have to click on access tokens or something is there. Access tokens, yeah. So let's click there, invalidate and refresh, click OK and copy this token. You can create your own token. Yeah, control V. So I have pasted this token and then def query file name. That is a small function. Okay, to execute this, this is the response we are getting. It is posting through this API URL and this is the header we are passing and data is equal to data. So data, nothing but this file. This file is reading by this with operation. Okay, and we are uh, returning the response, whatever we are getting from the particular model, which is uh, image description model. Okay. and we are calling this query function in this line so in the next line I have to print this or else I can do one thing so it is a streamlit application we can do st.write and then output okay now you can see like output is equal to query cats jpg so this one I need to remove because that is not needed instead of that I have to give the folder path okay which is a saved path so this path I am going to pass pass this because you can see the saved path is os.path.join upload folder uploaded upload folder is your uploaded image folder okay and the file name okay so if you want to feed the path you have to get the complete path which is saved path so i am feeding this same uh, saved path in this output and we are writing this st.write output okay so that is the code change let me try to execute this Okay, so it is already executing. I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to upload a one more file. So again, I'm uploading this. Let's see. So it is running. You can see it is running. It will take few seconds. Yeah, it gave you the answer. The logo of the app store, a blue white letter A, that is fine. But we are getting like this. Okay, we're getting like a JSON data. So we have to render this. We have to extract only the output of the model okay so that it won't come like this it will come in a pretty manner okay we have to make prettier this so for that i will do one thing uh let me see in which format so it is a kind of json data and i have to extract this zero okay so output if i give output zero okay let's see how it looks like let's see how it looks like so i'm going to again upload some another image or say this so it is running it will take few seconds of time and this time we won't get zero and generated text at this okay so we are going to extract this generated text so we are going to extract this generated text for that i have to give another iteration which is of generated text okay let's see in this time how it looks like again i'm going to refresh this application and i'm going to one more upload one more uh, file uh, let me upload this image cat's image so see, we got the answer. There is a small orange kitten sitting on the laptop. Okay, let me try with some another image, which is a new image. Uh, let's try with this. So it is running. See, a close-up of yellow smiley face with a hand over it, which is absolutely correct. Okay, so we are getting the absolute uh, description of the image or caption of the image we are uploading from the model. Okay. So let me upload this image. Yeah, cartoon boy sitting in a chair with headphone on and a computer, which is absolutely correct. So like this, we are getting the response from the LLM model, which is a image description model or image to text model. So this is the way you can integrate. So in the next video, I'm going to describe you like how you can do 
integrating a uh, object detection model as well so object detection model description i have gave you in the video number one or two i think so you can go through that video and see like object detection model how it looks like and what the work it will do so we can create another streamlit application to uh, integrate with it uh, hugging face object detection model so for that um, we can create another uh, video so till then you can stay tuned and if you have any doubts or anything any problem you can comment me in the comment box until then stay tuned and goodbye